So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically download Instagram Reels and upload on Google Drive. So let's say for your business, you have created an Instagram profile where regularly you are sharing new Reels. Now you want to download those Reels and upload them in Google Drive as well as a backup. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, as a new Reel will be posted on our Instagram profile, automatically the same Reel will be downloaded and uploaded on a specific folder in our Google Drive. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this kind of automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Instagram profile, which is managed by my team members. Now I want that whenever a new reel is posted on Instagram by any of my team members, I want to download that same Instagram reel and upload that reel on a folder in my Google Drive. And we want to automate this process. Now to do this, we have to connect our Instagram account with Google Drive. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. And to access Public Connect, just go to your browser and search for pabbly pabbly.com slash connect. And here you can see we have reached to the landing page of Public Connect. Here you can see two options. First one is sign in and second one is sign up for free. Now, if you are new to Pabbly, you can just click on sign up free and create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you are an existing Pabli user, you can just sign into your own account. So I'll just click on sign in. And after signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And in a new tab, you can see we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. After reaching to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Instagram Reels to Google Drive. Instagram Reels to Google Drive. Then just select the folder of Public Connect account in which you want to create this automation workflow and click on Create. And here you can see the workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Instagram account, our Instagram profile with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new reel will be posted on our Instagram business profile, automatically the details of that reel of that newly posted content will be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. After that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that newly uploaded reel and we are going to upload that same reel in our Google Drive into a specific folder automatically. So we are going to download the reel from Instagram and automatically upload it on our Google Drive. So let's see how it is done. Starting from the trigger window in Choose App, search for Instagram and select Instagram for Business. After selecting Instagram for Business, in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select New Media Posted in My Account. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here we have to connect our Instagram for Business account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this Connect with Instagram for Business button. Now here, a pop-up window will appear in front of us. And because we have already logged into our Instagram account in our browser, Public Connect will detect the same account and make the connection. And this connection is made via our Facebook page. So we have to ensure that our Instagram profile is connected with our Facebook account as well. Let me show you. We will just go to the settings section of our Instagram profile and we will go to account center. And under meta account center, you will see my Instagram profile is connected with my Facebook account or my Facebook page. So to connect Instagram for business with Public Connect, just ensure that you are connected with your Facebook page as well. After making this connection, Public Connect is asking us Instagram account to use. So here in this drop down, you can see we have our Instagram profile, the same profile for which we want to set up this automation. So what we are going to do from this drop down, we are going to select it. And after selecting the Instagram account, as we click on this save and send test request button, automatically, immediately, the details of the most last content, the most recent post which we have shared on our Instagram profile will be received inside Pavli Connect. So on my Instagram profile, you can see this is a reel which I have shared, which I have posted just now. Under the reel section, you can see this is the exact same reel. This is a video and here you can see we have this particular caption over here. 
Now on our public connect workflow, as I click on save and send test request, you will see, we will get the details of the same read. And yes, here in the trigger step, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the same details. We have the details of the media which was posted, the media type is video, and the product type is real. So here using this particular trigger of Instagram for business inside Public Connect, you will get the details of different types of media. Like if you're posting an image, a normal video or an Instagram reel, you will get the details of all the posts, all the media from Instagram inside Public Connect. But if you want to set up this automation specifically for reels, we have to set up a filter condition after that. We will see that in a couple of minutes. So we have the product type as reels. After that, here we have the media URL and we have the URL. We have the link of the media file, which was uploaded. We will just copy this URL from here and paste it in a new tab. And after pasting it here, you can see the same reel will open in front of us. So we have the URL, the link of the same file, same media, which was posted, the same reel, which was posted on our Instagram account. Then we have the link of our Instagram post as well. So if you copy this permanent link and paste it in a new tab, we will see the same post will open on Instagram in front of us. We will scroll down further and here you can see some other details like we have the caption over here, whatever caption we have given and the date and time that at what date and time this reel was posted on our Instagram account. So here you can see the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the media URL and also the type of media which was posted on our Instagram account. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we are going to set up a filter condition. Now using this automation, we only want to upload the Instagram Reels on our Google Drive. But as I told you, using this particular trigger of Instagram for business inside Public Connect, you will get the details of each and every post which you share on Instagram. Now to ensure that only the Instagram Reel video should be uploaded on Google Drive using this automation, we are going to set up a filter condition so that if the media product type is equals to Reels, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue and upload that media, upload that video on Google Drive. If we get this media product type, anything else other than Reels, in that case, what we are going to do, we are not going to upload those media on Google Drive. Now, if you want to upload all the media, all the content from Instagram to Google Drive, you can avoid adding this filter. But right now, we are going to add a filter. And to add this filter, we will just come to this action step. And here in Choose app, just select Filter over here. After selecting Filter by Pavli, in Action Event from the dropdown, select the Action Event as Filter Values. Then just click on Connect. After clicking on connect, here you can see it is asking us to select the label. Now here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new media which we have received from Instagram. Out of all of this, we are going to select this label of media product type reels. And the filter type will be equals to, the value will be reels. So in this way, we have added a filter condition over here that if we get the response of media product type equals to reels, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue. Means if we get the response, if we get the details of a new reel from Instagram in the trigger step, only in that case, we are going to upload those videos on Google Drive using this automation. Now, after setting up this filter, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the filter condition which we have created, this is true. Because in the trigger step, we have received the response of an Instagram reel. Now after this, we'll scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And now we will move to the final step where we are going to upload this file, upload this video or Instagram reel on Google Drive. For that here in Choose app, we will search for Google Drive. Just select it. After selecting Google Drive, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as upload a file. So we'll just scroll down and select this action of upload a file. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button. Then just select your Google Drive account in which you want to upload this file, upload this reel. Then just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the URL that what is the URL of the file of the video which we want to upload on our Google Drive. So here in the trigger step, when we have received the details, the responses of a new reel from Instagram, we have received the URL, the link of media. We have this media URL. And now we have to map this response of same media URL from this trigger step 
to this Google Drive action step. And to map it, we just have to click on this field of URL and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous two steps. Out of these responses from the responses of Instagram, select the response of media URL and it will be mapped over here. After this, it is asking us for the folder ID. Now here in folder ID, we have to enter the ID of the folder from a Google Drive on which we want to upload this file. We want to upload this reel. So here I have created a folder in my Google Drive named as Instagram Reels. And to get the ID of this folder, here in the URL section after folder slash, you can see this. This is the folder ID. So from the URL section, just open this folder in Google Drive and from the URL section, copy the folder ID from here and then paste it over here. After pasting this folder ID, it is asking us for the file name. That what will be the name of the file which we are going to upload in Google Drive. So let's see, I want the file name to be the caption of the reel. So we are adding some caption in this reel and whatever caption we are adding over here, I want the same caption to be the file name. So here what we are going to do, we'll just click here and from the responses of Instagram, we have received the response of caption as well. So we are just going to select it and map it. So just for an example, I'm selecting this caption as the file name, but instead of this, if you want, you can give any file name of your choice. But as per this help text, we, it is mentioning us that we have to add the file extension as well. Like if we are uploading a MP4 file or video, then we have to enter the file name with proper file extension. So I'm always adding a full stop at the end of my caption over here. So after this, we are going to write MP4. So it is necessary that we enter this .mp4, .png, .jpg, whatever file or whatever file format we are uploading in Google Drive, we have to mention that file extension in the file name. So my file name will be the caption of my Instagram reel and after this dot we are having the mp4, the file format. Now as I told you, instead of this, you can give the same file name to all the new reels if you want. Or what you can do, you can use the date as well. So let's say I'm using the date and time, that at what date and time this particular video or this particular reel is posted on Instagram, I'm using this .mp4. So this will be the name of the file which we are going to upload in Google Drive. You can choose it as per your choice. Let's select date for now, the timestamp, and then just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we are going to receive some response over here. And we have received it. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the status is success. This means this particular reel which we have uploaded on Instagram whose response we have captured inside Pavli Connect, this reel is now uploaded on our Google Drive. So let's check it. We will go to our Google Drive folder and yes, here you can see the reel is uploaded over here. And if we open this reel, here you can see we have the exact same reel which was posted on our Instagram profile is now automatically uploaded on our Google Drive. And here you can see the same file name as well. We have the timestamp which we have received from Instagram and .mp4 means the file extension, the same file name which we have given inside our public connect workflow in this Google Drive action step. So in this way, you can automate the process of downloading reels from your Instagram account and automatically uploading them on your Google Drive folder. Now, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once again. What we are going to do, we'll just go to my Instagram profile and we are going to create a new post over here. I'm going to post a new reel on my Instagram account. So I will just upload a reel from my computer itself. I have already downloaded a reel over here named as birds. Let me just select it and upload it on my Instagram profile. After this, I'll just resize it over here to original and move to next. Then let's move to next and let me add a caption as for example, we are testing this automation. So just a random caption which I have added. Let's click on share. So as I click on share here, you can see this reel will be posted on my Instagram profile. And yes, the reel has been shared. As you can see over here, the reel is over here. We'll just refresh this page and here it is. Now, as I upload this new reel, we will see within 10 minutes using this automation within 10 minutes, the same reel will be downloaded and uploaded back on my Google Drive. Now, it basically takes 10 minutes of time because the connection between Instagram and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pavli Connect will check for new reels, new posts on my Instagram profile every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, Public Connect will check whether we have a new reel shared on our Instagram profile or not. And if we have shared any new reel, it will get the details of that reel. And using this automation, we are going to upload that reel on Google Drive. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here. 
Okay, so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes now. Now we'll go back to our Google Drive and yes, here you can see on our Google Drive, this particular new file is uploaded over here. And this is the exact same reel which we have just now uploaded on our Instagram profile. Here you can see this is the same reel. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, you can download the reels from your Instagram profile and automatically upload them on Google Drive. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same automation workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.